do everything the best that you can and hope for the best. Last night I could have finished this, but I chose to wait till the morning because if it didn't run, I didn't want to have to go to bed or try to sleep knowing that it didn't run and have to be figuring out instead of sleeping. So, let's see how we did. I rotated the crank to make sure that piston doesn't hit the valves. There's no fuel in the fuel rails, they're totally purged, so I don't expect it to start easy. It used to be when you'd fire it up within the first, I'd say 5 seconds to 10 seconds, it would just start bucking hard and the check engine light would come on. So, I think I did pretty good. I like it really happy to be getting this one out. <laughs> this seems like there was a lot of problems when I went to take off the exhaust manifold. Uh, one of the two nuts on the studs of the manifold where it goes manifold to pipe. Uh, coming off, it didn't want to come off and it got all chewed up. Had to get out the tap and die set and clean up the threads. Um, just random goofy problems like that. and. Uh, when I got into the cylinder head, cylinder 5, the intake valve was a mess. It wasn't seating properly and then also cylinder 4 was a mess too. It just wasn't as far along so I wound up having to do both of those. Machine shop was backed up four days so I had to grind them by hand which sucks. It takes like three hours each. Maybe not that much. I was watching a movie but that thing's happy. Rev limiter. So anyway, I'm happy to have this out. It's happy. It sounds happy. <laughs>